Uh, we are at Chris's house. This is Chris. Say hi, Chris. Hi, hi, Chris. We are, <laughs> we are gonna take this bad boy all the way up to Slashy Fen and have some fun. So Woo! join us for the ride. Woo! Thanks, guys. Parents tell you guys have to do this. Best thing ever. <laughs> Best thing ever. All right, we're around the corner from Chris's house. Say hello. Hello. We're just grabbing some petrol, and then we're heading out. We're gonna hit the road. I think we're just done. I don't know if you can see, but this car is completely full of stuff. Let's go around the back real quick. So there's a whole bunch of guitars, everything in the back here. We threw a little thing over the top. The car is performing excellently. You can see my reflection in my little camera. But again. If it wasn't for these dudes, we wouldn't have this car. So thanks, parents, for car. How's about we go spreading some of that earthly wisdom? There's enough for you and I. Here we are. Oh. Stop number one. Stop number one. We're at Worcester. We're gonna grab some food and then we're gonna head out. Same shade. Don't realize no one's gonna make it out alive. Quinn, Quinn, are you hungry? Food. Want some food? For like an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, rem remember to feed your drummer because otherwise he might just eat you. Okay. That, that's what. That's what it is. That's what the deal is. Don't get so busy making a living that you forget to make a lie. All right, so why do we get pulled over, Chris? Guys, our month was driving, dude, and we got pulled over, and he did a breathalyzer, beeped a couple of times, and then the cop arrested me because I had hot cross buns. <laughs> <laughs> hot cross buns, got us, boy. No, it's it's it's. <laughs> it's not really the it's not really the hot cross buns. Yeah, it's not really the hot cross buns, they're just doing fatigue tests on drivers. But we've all had so much coffee, we're very awake. So we're at Beaufort West, just a little fuel stop. There's a piano in the bathroom, we'll show you now. Anything you want to say for YouTube? Hello, sir. So we're going to show you guys. A little summon summon really really cool. We've got the keyboard maestro over here, Mr. Buertu. And check this, check this. Bathrooms at Beaufort West, Caltex, in the ladies' room. No ladies were harmed in the process. There's no one in here if it's like 11 o'clock at night. The very other stream. What's the time there? 10 to 5, 5 o'clock in the morning. We're in Bloemfontein, we've almost navigated the whole night. Yeah. We pulled over because it's pouring with rain and hail, so we're just going to probably grab something to eat. But yeah, the car is solid. The wiper test passed. Yep. <laughs> Extreme weather test passed. The um, yeah, and sleep in the back hard. test passed. Ask me, I know. Oh, oh. Let's do this. 
Look at that! Look at that! It's so pretty! Yo! That's amazing. I'm so glad I get to sit out of this huge <laughs> windscreen of the Volkswagen Caddy Max. Yeah, yes. It's brilliant. And it's so clear. The windscreen wipers do a great job. <laughs> Even in tough rains, but. <laughs> made it to the Underberg. Almost at Splashy. 25 minutes to Splashy Pen. What say you, sir? Yo, dude, it's been. A it's been a journey. It's far. That, that's the only way to describe it. It's a very far from Cape Town. Not a road trip. Very far. It's been a journey. Yeah. Like a proper journey. It's been a journey. So, dramatic turn of events. Look at the weather. It is absolutely pouring. And we just left the shops and we're heading to the festival now. So hopefully we've actually got some accommodation that... Uh, Oh, we're, we're not very keen to sleep in tents tonight. It's freezing cold and it's pouring with rain. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I got to, I got to know. Do you love me, baby? Right. We're here. Woohoo! We're here at Splash Event. Epic! Epic, epic, epic. Let's have a look around. Let's see if we can get. This is where we go to get our tickets and our passes. Let's go do that. What's happening everyone? It's Lanky Jake. It's day two of Splashy Fen. Last night we got here at about 4 p.m. and we crashed hard. Um, we'd been driving all the way through the night on Friday and um, I think some of the other oaks, they they in the tent over there and they were, um, they went and watched some bands. I went, got some food and got some sleep because I need my I need to be at my best for tonight. Um, tonight I'm playing at the stage, the main, no it's not the main stage, it's the legend stage. And I'm headlining at 8pm tonight, so I've got to prep a lot today. Got some good sleep last night, I've already had breakfast roll and a shower and a coffee, which is amazing. But yeah, we've got to get that organized. So, I'm going to show you guys around the festival. Um, it's super cool here, it is very miserable and windy, if you can see in the background, like up in the sky. See up this guy up there? It's not very nice weather. So yeah, we're gonna um head up head up now. Forest Key are playing at the the river stage at eleven and we'll yeah show you some of that too. Awesome. Alright. Let's just show you around splashy fence. But first, coffee. I must be honest, I was loving a few. You got me going crazy. Cause you're my kind of lady. The river stage. I don't know if you thought I was high. Don't mistake me for some other guy. You got me going crazy. Cause you're my kind of lady. And now I'm thinking. Oh, hey, look, it's a caddy. Boys from Forest Key are busy, busy setting up for this set today. They're opening up the river stage. My dear. So, 
So this is um, this is Forest Key after their performance. How do you guys feel? Um, popular. How do you feel? How do you feel, Amant? Yeah. It sounded good. It sounded good. Yeah. Quinn, how do you feel? Kind of bleak that it's over, but but stoked it's over. Yeah, well. you smashed that, those drums, Chris. Twenty-three hours in the car. Was it worth it? Minutes, yeah. <laughs> it was longer than five minutes. Yeah, it like five. Like yeah, it was so good, dude. Go where to? How are you, bro? <laughs> He's cold. He's just cold. He's just cold. And you, please state your name and band and why you're dressed in this ridiculously sexy outfit. Even from the Zebra. Because it's sexy. <laughs> A band in Tom's bedroom when they were 15. They played us down in as fast as they possibly could and took Tom's neighbors from the police. So they asked their friend Mike if they could rehearse in his parents' garage. He said, I'll talk to my mom and my dad, but only if you let me play in the band. But Mike couldn't sing, couldn't play anything, but they still let him in because they. Alright, what's up, everyone? Um, I was gonna go show you around the festival, but as you can see, it's pouring with rain. Apparently this is not a new thing. Um, I spoke to my one friend who's been to seven splashy fens and he said only at one has it not rained. So everyone else is much more prepared for it than I am. <laughs> um, everyone has like gumboots and they've got umbrellas and they've got raincoats. I don't. I'm sitting inside the car filming this video. At least my tent is dry so we're gonna hang out there for a little while while it stops raining and then we'll show you around the festival. What it's like to be fifteen, misunderstood, insecure, and alone. About all the wounds. So here's the acoustic court. God in our soul. About all the things they think will make us happy. Don't matter as much as we think they matter. As much as we thought it mattered when we were young. When Most important spot in the campsite, the coffee village. Most important spot. Philip and Tommy and Mike always thought that they'd tour around the world Playing their music to thousands of fans who would scream for one more as they walked off the stage But they never left their hometown and broke up after the splashy main stage Playing house parties, scout halls and high school talent shows But they made us sing and throw up our fists And just for a second they made us feel infinite like we belong Like our salvation could be found in a song they helped us figure out the right from the wrong As you can clearly see the ground is very muddy because of the rain And it's that KZM mud That gets in everywhere that makes you slip and fall in your butt But yeah, fantastic festival Love it, yeah Alright, that was the main festival area Over here This is the campsite so here are the thousands of people that are camping and because we got here on Saturday our tent is all the way all the way down at the bottom and yeah
know the Lord is here to stare on lightning, stare on many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know how. Grace, that's it.